Hi, John Leslie here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a PPM, a portfolio project management system on the platform. I'm going to be covering four main things. Those four main things being future sprint planning, maybe for your agile projects. How do you make those future sprints? How do you view those future sprints on a timeline, basically a roadmap of sprints? And how do you pre-plan those sprints out of your backlog? I'll show you how to do that. So those are the four main things I'm gonna be covering and I'm gonna jump right in with the first one. Okay, now moving on to sprints and sprint planning, how to visualize sprints on a timeline, and also how to create sprints moving forward. So first of all, um, let's look at this, this sprint plan. So the way this works is you're essentially just creating a card and it represents a sprint. And that sprint can be, as we've seen before, broken down to its own board. So when you do that, you can actually use a template. So you might want to use the sprint planning template that I saved from an existing sprint. So when you break this down, right, it's actually going to connect this card on the timeline to the actual sprint board itself. So if I wanted to create a sprint five, for example, I would just click here, say one week or two weeks, however long your sprints are. Like this. Maybe give it the same color representing the team. Then you have that represented on the timeline, but to, to create it as an actual sprint, you just click here. Again, say break down the board and select the sprint template that you created from an existing sprint. And there you have it. So now we have sprint five and we can put this down where it belongs underneath maybe sprint four like this. So now you have this nice indication of sprints on a timeline. And, and when I when I did this, right, if I open up the card, you can see it's connected to that actual sprint. So I can drill down and, and I want to see exactly what happened in that sprint. And that creates a nice kind of history of, of sprints as sprints are completed here. You can see this one met the sprint goal. If I want to drill down and and see exactly what was accomplished in that sprint, I can drill down into it here. And it might exist in another collection, right? So it would automatically jump me to that collection to view exactly what was achieved or not achieved within that particular sprint. Now to do sprint planning out into the future, of course, you don't want to split, uh, plan too far in the future, depending on, of course, how agile you are. But to do some kind of sprint look ahead um, can always be nice. And here, for example, I might want to, uh, from the backlog, plan out into the future a little bit, do some essentially resource allocation at the velocity and maybe work, re work remaining level if I'm breaking things into tasks on the cards in advance and giving them work remaining estimates. So what I can do here is in the sprint planning column, which is just the custom column, with a drop down of all my sprints out into the future, however far out I want to go. Um, I can click here and say, okay, this is something we're going to need uh, maybe in sprint two. Boom, it automatically adds it through an automation to the sprint two sprint backlog like this, along with its corresponding, if I turn this on, estimation and maybe work remaining in if we broke things down in advance. And you can see that's rolling up to the total on the board. If I add another one to sprint to look ahead, automatically adds that's that backlog item to the sprint backlog for sprint two. And you can see that work remaining total and the overall points estimate starting to roll up. I do the same thing for sprint three. like so. So say um, we know that our velocity, our historic velocity over the past three sprints is maybe uh, 30 points or 50 points, whatever it happens to be. 
to do some nice sprint look ahead planning to see if things fit out into the future, you can just essentially keep adding work in priority based order to your sprints on the method I'm, I'm showing you now until you hit 50 points or a little bit under 50 points for each one of these sprints as it continues to roll up. So it's a nice way to do some look, at, look ahead planning in an agile environment. Now, the automation to do that or the automations to do that were very simple. Uh, just one per sprint saying when a card field, field changes to that particular sprint, add it to that particular sprint board to the sprint backlog column. And that's it. And there you have it. That's how to do. That's probably the most effective way to do sprint look ahead planning in Favro. If you didn't want to have a separate board for each and every sprint. You, of course, don't have to. You could just create uh, maybe a dashboard that works off of these sprint tags, essentially sprint tags, and look at do look ahead planning from a dashboard perspective. But I have found that a lot of teams, as you've uh, probably experienced yourselves, like to have this sprint cadence, especially represented maybe across multiple teams, on a timeline like this. So to have this nice ability to break a sprint represented on a timeline down to the actual sprint board itself, the only way you're going to achieve it is in the method that I just showed. And there you have it again. That's how to do sprint look ahead planning and sprint management on a timeline in on the Favro platform.